So I already have done my face. I used my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer and applied that with a beauty blender. I did my eyebrows off camera too and applied some primer potion to my eyelids. So I'm first going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Rust and it is just a true pigmented rust color and I'm going to put that on my eyelid and then blend it out with my finger. This is going to serve as a base for the color that I'm going to be putting on top. So I'm going to work with my MAC eyeshadows today and the color I have chosen to use is this one right here and it is the shade Star Violet and it's just a pinky brown plum color, it's just really beautiful. I'm going to take that on a shader brush and put that all over my lid, mainly focusing on the middle of my lid but pretty much all over it. I'm taking from the Naked Basics palette Naked 2 on a taper blending brush and using that as my transition color in my crease blending that in just so I have something to blend the black into. And the black shade is Carbon by MAC and I'm taking it on a small pencil brush and I'm just going to take that on my outer V of my eye and just kind of create the shape that I want and then run that all into my crease and into my inner tear duct. And once I have that drawn out, I'm just going to start building the color with that same pencil brush and just blending it all together so it kind of creates a more smoky effect and so it becomes a little bit darker. So putting that black all over my eye and sort of covering the star violet but letting a little peek through. Then I'm going to run that carbon underneath my waterline about halfway, just blending that into my lash line. And then I'm going to take Star Violet and put it on the other half, closer to my tear duct. I'm going to take another blending brush and then smooth out any of the edges that are a little bit harsh around the outside of the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to blend it all together all over my eyelid so it just creates one nice soft looking eyeshadow shade on my eyeball. <laughs> And wherever I lost some of the color that I wanted, I'm just going to go back with that pencil brush with carbon and touch it up a wee bit. And there was some fallout, so I'm just taking my beauty blender and with some more concealer, just touching that up underneath my eye. Then I'm going to be taking this Pop Beauty Mascara. It's not my favorite, but I thought I'd try it and apply that. And then these lashes. These are lashes, I don't know which ones they are, but they are from Quo, I think it's called, that I got at Shoppers Around Halloween time, so I'm just applying those to my eyes. So once I'm done the eyes, I'm going to move on to my face and I'm going to take my Bahama Mama and contour around my face a little bit. On my cheekbones and underneath my jawline, I think a little bit, dropping my brush, <laughs> just blending it in. For blush, I'm going to be using this Illamasqua one. It is so pretty. I love these blushes. They're so creamy. I love them. And it is in the color Bag. And I'm just going to be applying that onto the apples of my cheeks and working that back. And for highlighter, I'm using my Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, and I'm just applying that with a fan brush down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my high points of my cheekbones. This fan brush is so soft, I just love rubbing it against my face. <laughs> then I'm going to be taking this MAC Black Eyeliner, uh, Graph Black, and I'm just going to be putting that in my waterline and tight lining my eye with that. I hate doing this, but it needs to be done. So for lipstick, I chose none other than Diva by MAC, so I'm just going to apply that on my lips. And that is pretty much it. That's the finished look. It was so easy. Just a really smoky purple eye. Perfect for fall. So that is it. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can. It's BaileyBeautyXO, and I will see you later. Bye.